Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. My name is Noelle and I do unboxings, mostly lifestyle subscription boxes, but a variety of categories, including but not limited to books, beauty, jewelry, travel, and even some home decor. So if you enjoy unboxings, I hope you'll consider subscribing to my channel and hitting the notification bell. That way you'll find out whenever I post new videos, announce giveaways, or go live. As always, if you're already subscribed, thanks again so much for being here and welcome back. Today is the first day of our March Secret Pass password giveaway, which will work as it has in the past. When you come across a secret password in one of my giveaways, you want to enter that along with your contact information in the Google form that will be linked for you in the description box below, not in the comments, please. Now this is going to run concurrently with the March collaboration giveaway that I am doing with nine other channels. And in that case, you do actually put the secret password into the comments. So don't get confused, but we don't want any secret passwords in the comments here on these videos for this particular giveaway. This is my way of thanking my subscribers with some fun mystery boxes. You do have to be 18 years or older. You do have to have a US or Canadian mailing address. There's more details for you in the form itself, but let's go ahead and get into the box that I have to share with you today. This is a quarterly subscription that comes all the way from Israel. It is called Artsa and they follow in the footsteps of Jesus is what all of their marketing says. So this is a Christian themed subscription, but what I love about it is it features Israeli artists and makers and it's really, really cool to just learn more about that culture and that location. So this one was sent to me for a review and this time they are featuring the Golan Heights, which I think is really cool. Now the box itself is $74.99 per quarter, but you can do the premium box for a little bit more. It's $94.99 per quarter and that's going to include like special exclusive artisan items. So I highly suggest if you're going to go ahead and do it, that you do that little extra amount of money because often those are the coolest pieces in the box that does not include the shipping now they have all kinds of deals I know that right now if you sign up for an annual membership you can get a free box which is pretty cool I also have a code for you it's Noel 25 that'll actually save you 25% which is a pretty good savings in my opinion so definitely check it out as always all that information in the description box so let's go ahead and get into our box it says the Holy Land delivered there on the front and then inside, they always have lots of information. There's usually some recipe cards. There's usually this kind of big placemat card, which is what I call it, because I think it would be really cool to actually laminate these and use them as placemats. So here's the image we have of the Golan Heights. And then on the back, they do tell us lots of information. I won't read all of it to you, but it says, we hope that your Golan box finds you and your families well at this wonderful time of spring. The weather is beginning to warm up. The stunning flower blossoms are beginning to appear. The birds are starting to sing and we at Artsa couldn't be more excited for you to experience the beauty of the Golan Heights. And God willing, the borders are open for tourism and we can welcome you all in arms wide open and a warm embrace. How we and our artisans miss you all. So I think this box is so great because so much in terms of tourism has been limited. This is a great way for these artisans to get their work out into the world and also support their families. So it says that once again, for many of our artisans, this was their largest order ever. And for many, this was their first ever large order. So no, but as you enjoyed these special gifts, you have directly supported amazing small businesses across the Holy Land. You've made their dreams and passions stand strong with your loyal support. Many of our artisans that we worked with together for the Golan Box created new gifts and products exclusively for Artza that can't be found elsewhere, and we're so excited for you to enjoy them. So some more beautiful images of this area. They have a very active Facebook group, which I think is really cool as well. A lot of times people are trying the recipes that are often included in the box and sharing uh, kind of hip hints and tricks. So this time for one of our postcards, we do have a recipe. It's called sumac roast chicken, except for that uh, avocado there on the side. That looks pretty delicious, that nice vibrant red color. This postcard, of course, is of Mount Hermon, which is uh, at 9,232 feet above sea level. Mount Hermon is the tallest peak in Israel and can be seen clearly all the way from the southern shores of the Sea of Galilee. And then we also have this postcard, which is the Gamla Fortress, which has quite the history where... Um, the heroic 5,000 inhabitants fiercely fought off the Romans with a passion and dream to live in the Holy Land as free people. So these are postcards, but the, the actual message part is already pretty much filled up. So I think most people just hold on to those and keep them as keepsakes. And then they have these nice artist cards. So here is one that just kind of is a summary of everything that is in the box. And that's what I kind of go off of while we are going through. And then they have these really cool feature cards that tell us about the artists um, and their companies and the items that are included in the box. So I'll 
kind of keep that um, handy for me so that I can reference it as we go through, hopefully. So right on top, I'm not going to hold it up anymore because I can hear something kind of rustling around in there that I feel, feel like might be fragile. So first, we have our mouthwateringly delicious sumac spice blend with an accompanying recipe card for that chicken. So look at that deep, deep red color, you guys. Guaranteed to enhance every meal with this rich and exotic Middle Eastern spice. So let me see if I can find some info about this. So this is from Meredith Rose Barrett. This is a picture of her. It says, from the Vermont mountains to the Galilee Hills, Meredith Roseburg seeks answers to some of life's greatest challenges in nature. With a background in plant medicine and women's health, Meredith was initially drawn to Mediterranean spices through their tremendous medicinal properties. So again, here is that sumac. Um, it says, as evidenced by scientific research conducted in Israel, combined with her love of Israeli cuisine, Meredith traveled extensively all over Israel and the Levant to taste the diversity of flavors across the varying climates, and to find the most tasty and nutrient-rich spices from their ancient origins. In contrast to the industrialization of food and flavor, natural spices have the power to elevate everyday life. So love that. So sumac spice, it says, is a magical and exotic spice rich in antioxidants, antibacterial, and anti-inflammatory benefits, which together with its bold and acidic flavors will enhance and complement every dish you cook. So I'll have to look for more recipes, but like I'm guessing that chicken recipe doesn't look like too difficult. So maybe something that I could actually accomplish. Now this item I believe is the special item for premium box subscribers, so I will wait to save that. The next thing that I do see is some tea. So this says the Golan Heights inspired herbal tea infusion. Now my box got a little bit dented up, you guys can kind of see there, but that's okay. I'm sure the tea is just fine. It says sure to warm up your wintry mornings. Each tea box was made with the help of young adults with physical disabilities, which you are helping to support. That is so cool that they have that cause. It is the Golan Heights blend. There's 20 tea bags in here. It's lemongrass, rose, and lemon verbena. That sounds good. It's caffeine free. So I think I saw some info about this in here. So this is David Ross. He must be the owner. Says, founder of Shalva Tea made his first trip to Israel in 2001 to research the devastating effects of the fire that ravaged the Carmel Forest in northern Israel. What started out as a research trip soon turned into a calling and in 2014, David decided to uproot his life in America and move to Jerusalem. So we've got some expats here. Once there, he enrolled in a course to learn Hebrew and got to work building his dream, namely to found an herbal tea brand inspired by the land of Israel. He named his company Shalva, which is an ancient Hebrew word that means peace, calm, and tranquility. I love that. The name takes its inspiration from the Psalms where it's written, may there be peace between your walls, Shalva, within your palaces. Shalva teas are all naturally caffeine-free, made with pure ingredients, and never feature any added flavors or coloring in order to deliver the best and most calming cup of tea. Each packet, again, was put together by young adults and teenagers with physical disabilities. So I think that is super duper cool. So let me put that off to the side. I have to kind of keep things a little bit organized so I don't lose track of what we've already talked about. Now the thing that I think was kind of um, rattling around and it does feel like it's a little bit dusty and I did kind of take a sneak peek in the uh, Facebook group because a lot of people have been receiving theirs. So some people's came broken, but I will tell you Artsa is so good about sending replacements if there's anything wrong with anything in your box. This is from Maranatha. It says the Wise Virgin's Parable. It's a clay oil lamp and filler set. So I feel like I've gotten a lamp very similar to this for Diwali, um, but this is so it says Jesus period replica pottery. It is educational and fully functional. So let me see if I can open this up. I'm trying, like I said, I'm worried about it coming broken because so many other people had that issue. So there is an image of people holding their lamps, keeping them lit. I think mine are okay. So it's actually very like small, very like miniature. So here we have it. And it very much looks like it's from like an archeological dig. Hopefully you guys can see that and it'll focus for you. And then we also have the oil lamp, which matches. So you can see you probably put that wick through that little hole and then fill it with, I'm guessing olive oil, but you could probably just use Use like actual candle oil that you can now buy a, a lot of craft stores so let's see it does come with a little wick with like a little purple strand but let me just find the information about this so it says it's an ancient olive oil lamp and jug replicas from the time of Jesus discovered in the caves of the Golan Heights so let's see if there's any information about this on one of the cards I don't know if I see anything 
I don't actually see anything about this particular item, but that's kind of cool. And again, that's from a company called Maranatha. The next one I see, ooh, you guys, this looks good. So new chocolate, it says Mania. This is a white chocolate squares with raw cocoa nibs um, from De Carina. So you guys know I love getting chocolate in a box. So this, let's see what it says about, it says De Carina white chocolate with raw cocoa cocoa nibs, infusions, and absolute delight. And this is the lovely Karina. It says, De Karina's story started over 100 years ago. Karina's grandfather, Jacob, fled Europe before World War I, leaving his beloved chocolate factory behind. And after a long land tumultuous journey, accidentally ended up in Argentina with his entrepreneurial spirit and passion for chocolate using European precision for detail mixed with his newly found Argentinian passion and flair. Jacob opened a new chocolate factory in Buenos Aires, um, employing over 100 people. Karina grew up surrounded by chocolate and was fascinated with it. But with her passion for both Israel and chocolate, she moved to Israel, proudly continued the family legacy when she opened De Karina in 2006. Located in the lush green hills of the Golan Heights, De Karina's is a love story. It is a family legacy. She proudly upholds and pours her heart, passion, and soul into every chocolate she creates. We hope that you enjoy it as much as Karina enjoys making each delicious treat. I am sure that we absolutely will, right, guys? Um, let's see. I think we have one more item here couple more items actually so something that is definitely wrapped up in some some bubble wrap let me get this out oh we got a candle you guys so it says hand poured golan do candle this is a really pretty image that they uh, put there on the label it says bring the scent of the golan spring in its full bloom to your home so we'll have to it says burn with insight just the directions what is it? it says vegan wax four ounces i don't know what golan do would smell like but this is by a company called shiananda shiananda Ooh, that's nice it's a little bit like citrusy, just a slight hint of sweetness to it, kind of like fruity and fresh at the same time. So whatever that is, I am into Golan Dew. That's a very lovely candle. Uh, we have one more item that does have some uh, information, but it's a little bit shrink wrapped. So this is always a little bit tricky for me to get into shrink wrap without damaging the item that is inside. That's always challenging. So I usually try to take a peek beforehand. So it looks like this is a Hebrew alphabet challenge. So let me try reading to you while I do this. It says, in an age full of technical advances, sometimes our eyes, tired eyes and brain need a break from social media and the constant daily bombardment of our busy lives. The chance to use our minds in different and naturally invigorating ways to reward ourselves with a stimulus that is enjoyable for the individual, the group, and the whole family. So I think it's like a game. It says, this is what motivated Eli and Galit in 1997 to create Gaia, a beautiful, crafted, and designed designed company with the mission of providing the ultimate quality downtime, I love that idea, getting us off our screens, by combining intellectually challenging content with pure fun, specializing in the design and development of handcrafted puzzles and wooden games while maintaining an aesthetically pleasing quality, love that, so like nice games that you can keep out on your coffee table and uh, they don't look like they don't look like they belong in the playroom instead. It says for Artsa they create an exclusive new game that is not only fun for the entire family, but will also help you learn the Hebrew alphabet one puzzle at a time. This game is sure to become the center of attention in your living room. They show a picture of their um, factory, which is gorgeous. So I have made a little bit of progress, but I have to kind of stick with it. And then I will show you guys that image. So this is the picture of their factory. Very, very cool. And this must be a picture of her working on it. So I'm not sure how this looks. It looks like coasters, right? Beautiful wood. I was trying not to uh, scratch it with my scissors, trying to open it up. And then this is what this opens up into. So it's like a little box. And then you can see it's almost like, do you guys remember tangrams? So it's got these different shapes. I just totally dropped one, but good thing it's wood and it won't break. So I'll have to read the instructions. So we've got different like shapes that you can obviously stack and then it says the art of thinking so then it's got multiple cards so that you can write out the different letters of the Hebrew alphabet but of course you could definitely create your own so it is D Gaia's Tangram it says this special Gaia's Tangram contains two identical sets of four wooden pieces and a deck of cards cards one through seven refer to a single set of pieces try to assemble the silhouette on each card using only four non-identical pieces so then you can also do cards 8 through 29 which refer to all of the pieces and you try to use all of all eight pieces instead of just the four so we have those four different shapes I guess I've seen three different shapes no 
I see three different shapes so far. I did drop one, so I'll have to find the other ones, but oh no, there's, there's the fourth shape. All right. So I found the fourth shape. So that's really cool. But yeah, that is kind of a cool game to just have on your coffee table. And of course the uh, cards actually sit right in there as well. So someone might just pick it up. Of course you can make your own designs and just build little like wood castles as well. But it is a really nice looking game. Very pretty. I think that's cool. That's in terms of a game, in terms of a family activity that they have included in an Artsa box. That's definitely my favorite. Um, we've gotten some other ones that I was like, I don't know that I would necessarily use this or have this out, but I love that they like had an emphasis on the aesthetics of it as well so that's super cool sorry it took me a little while to open it up so for premium subscribers you guys this is the extra item so it says we partnered with the talented artist Emmanuel to create this stunning hand-painted piece of art that reflects the lush and colorful flower bloom of spring in the Golan Heights that by the way you guys is going to be our secret password for today it is going to be flowers so you want to enter that with your contact info if you want to enter to win a mystery box from yours truly please do not put flower into the comments it goes in the Google form only so I have definitely received a beautiful item from Emmanuel before in a different Israeli box. Um, I actually shared that piece with one of you. I kind of wish I still had it because I think they would look so beautiful together, but it was a very similar style. So he does these cool metal artwork pieces that look like cut out. So the one I had was this very like exotic looking flower, but very colorful. This is so springy. It's got like a pretty blue base. It is signed on the back there by Emmanuel, but I I just love this. I think the cutout is so cool. And then someone took the time to hand paint that. We've got this gorgeous tree with some birds and flowers in it. I just think that is really actually very stunning. A good way of having flowers in color in your house, but not worrying about uh, whether or not you have a green thumb. So this is definitely my favorite item. And I know that this is an artist that a lot of you are actually familiar with. Um, and like I said, now I kind of wish that I had held on to that little flower because I think they would have looked really cute on the same shelf, but I'll probably hold on to this one because I had been regretting that a little bit uh, but let me know what you guys think this is an example of why you want to go ahead and pay that extra $20 for the premium box because you get gorgeous items like this so just going over everything that we received again we got that sumac spice which I think is really cool I'm excited to try to use that spices are usually something that I do get around to using we got our herbal tea infusion that is inspired by the Golan Heights which I think it's really cool their cause their give back we got our Golan scented candle, which you guys smells amazing. You know, I love that. The Hebrew alphabet wooden uh, tangram puzzle, beautiful and kind of fun. The Decorina white chocolate with raw cocoa nibs. The ancient olive oil lamp and jug replicas. These are kind of cool. I don't know where I'll put them in my house, but I do know that a lot of people have actually been lighting them and they do seem to work. And then of course, finally, this gorgeous in the premium boxes art piece by Emmanuel, which I think is actually very lovely might go in my background here one of these days but let me just make sure that I did go through all of the information cards so yes we did talk about the alphabet challenge we did talk about our chocolate we did talk about our friend David who's making tea and of course we did talk about Meredith who's done all the research to let us know how to uh, incorporate some good for you stuff in some Israeli cuisine I hope you all enjoyed this video if you are interested in learning more about Israel I think this is a great family box to enjoy it takes a little while in the shipping but they do a really good job and like I said they have a very active Facebook group which is definitely worth joining and participating in I hope you enjoyed this video if you did please do give it a thumbs up and I will see you all very very soon in my next unboxing